appreciate you guys attending and learn a little bit more about Morpheus. Um, most of you here, I think, have some experience, have some familiarity with Morpheus, at least as a concept, but I'll go back through a little introduction for those of you that aren't quite as familiar with Morpheus. Uh, so Morpheus was really born out of the premise of being a single pane of glass to any infrastructure. And um, through that, we give you the ability to provision any app, any database, anywhere. Um, applications are really the heart of what we want to have running, right? So what we want to do is we want to allow you to put those applications on any infrastructure, whether it's public, private, and of course, deliver it continuously. CI, CD is the name of the game, so we want it to be seamless. Um, this day and age, users are more and more demanding self-service and, uh, and, of course, accessible data. The systems engineers want to get their hands out of the mix. They want to automate the process as much as possible. So what Morpheus does is we give you the platform to do all of that. We're going to be a single pane of glass in the control plane. We're going to tie into all of those public and private infrastructures and give you all of that wizardry and automation. Uh, of course, we can get on with the demo, which is what we all really came here to see. So, I have my demo environment set up, uh, and for those of you who have seen Morpheus, again, some of this might be some rehash, but for those of you that haven't, this is the Morpheus landing page. It's just our little dashboard. Of course, we're talking about cloud brokerage today, so I'm going to jump right into the, the heart of the matter which is provisioning instances. Infrastructure is only in, important insofar as what we can put on it. As you can see, we have a number of instances running on it, and we have an incredible library at our fingertips. This is growing by the day, but for now, I have to suffice to be happy with this vast selection that's already here for us. Just to show you a little bit about what we're talking about now, though, the core matter is tying into infrastructure. Public infrastructure is particularly important. Always concerned, what is the pricing in AWS? What is the pricing in Azure? What is the pricing in Google? How do we compare and contrast those? So, of course, the way that Morpheus is organized is around the abstraction of a group. We tie into physical clouds by way of a group, an organizational abstraction that you create within Morpheus. I have a demo group here, and within my demo group, I have tied it into a number of clouds. As you can see, a pretty vast list. Now, when we tie into these public clouds, Amazon, Azure, Google, we're automatically going to pull down pricing data for you within Morpheus. We'll get to that in just a second. The first thing I want to make mention of is that we can do the same thing for you on your private cloud, too. Uh, if you want to compete with the public clouds for your customers, if you're an MSP and you have some customers who are looking to get uh, you know, maybe a different edge, maybe they don't need all of the features that something like an AWS provides, they just need classic hosting, you can create a price structure for your private cloud within here, too. Um, so just to give you a little idea of what it looks like, how that comes in, I'll actually take you over to our service plans real quickly. And as you can see, we have populated all the Amazon, all the Azure, and all the Google pricing data that's publicly available through those public cloud APIs. Where it comes into focus is when we're provisioning an instance. Oh, somebody might come into Morpheus and want to get a VM. Let's start with an Ubuntu VM. We're going to pick the group. We're dealing with the demo group here again. And they're going to pick the cloud. Maybe I'm interested in Azure. Have a naming policy set. Go ahead and click Next, Version. Ubuntu VM, and you can see here there's already a pre-selected plan. But we can go ahead and choose a different plan if we like, and as I do this, you notice that this price data is changing and populating. 
Well, there's also a tool tip that I can click on and I can see a quick compare and contrast between the public clouds that I have configured. Amazon, Azure, and Google. And it's gonna tell me for their version of that same VM, what it's gonna cost me. In this case, even though I came in to get an Azure Ubuntu VM, I might look at this pricing and decide to go with Google instead. Now, since we have an on-prem VMware, I'm also gonna show you, as I mentioned before, how to create a price structure of your own. So, if I jump over here, you can see that I have a couple of prices already configured with my name on it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna configure a third. So you can see how we go through this. Call it AP3 for our API and CLI identification. I'll keep it empty so that it ties into all accounts. I'm gonna go with an everything plan. We do have the option to put pricing and attach it to any sort of resource construct that we like. Everything plans are the easiest and I'm gonna price this one out by the hour. You can also pick the currency that we want our pricing presented in. In the US, US dollars make the most sense to me, so I'm gonna stick with them. I'm gonna go for a relatively cheap pricing plan. We're gonna call it 10 cents per hour. There's no price adjustment on here, but if you wanted to, you could also identify what the cost would be to you and then add in an additional markup so that that is the cost to your customer, whether it's percent, custom, or fixed. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one without an adjustment. And go ahead and save the changes. We have to tie our price into a price set. So I'm gonna create one of those. I already have one, but I'll create another one for you. And again, an identifier for us for API and CLI. Region code, I'm in the west, so we'll call it our west region. That's where our VMware environment is. We're gonna go and we're gonna select that price unit that we already established, as well as the type. This is gonna allow me to search for the pricing that I just created. If I add that and save changes, you can see that set is populated here. But now we have to tie it back to a plan. As you can see, I already have one created. I'm just gonna create another one here. We'll call this Adam Plan 2, keeping with the same naming convention that we've been using already. AP2, again, for our service plan. This is gonna to apply to VMware. And we can define within this what this plan is gonna look like. Let's say I want it to be a 27 gigabyte root volume with two gigabytes of RAM, but I wanna give them four cores. So that price that I'm configuring right now is gonna apply specifically to that. The price set, I need to go and find again what I just configured, which is Adam set two, add that and save it here. As you can see, it has populated. So now I go back to provision in an instance. Let's pick Ubuntu again, in the same group, this time picking our VMware cloud and a version that has a VMware template in Morpheus, we can see the plan that I have just created. Adam Plan 2, $72 a month. Furthermore, it will allow me to compare and contrast with some of the public clouds. If you want to take it a step further, and get fancy with it, you can actually auto-populate applications and templates based on this. Some of you out there who have taken a look at how deep Morpheus can go are probably familiar. I can create 
template in that same demo group so that all of these choices are pre-populated. Let's call it an app. Find the Ubuntu image that we're dealing with again and go through the same rigmarole that we've already been through. VMware VM and we'll pick the plan that we have selected. Again, we can see the cloud comparison in here. It auto-populates the volume per the selection that I priced at. All I have to do is make sure that I'm choosing the right network, resources if I like, some other advanced options around automation. I'm going to choose not to create backups with this template. Save it. Save it again. And now that base box is available to me. as an app that I can provision. All these choices have already been made for me. I can go ahead and just click complete. And now we have an instance provisioning of that base box with the pricing that's been set by me in my custom Morpheus settings.